Hey everybody, Johnny Gardner here with the Boston Terrier Society. In today's video, if you're thinking about getting a Boston Terrier or you own a Boston Terrier, I'm going to explain to you what you can expect when you get a Boston Terrier puppy and you live in an apartment. This is exactly what Emily and I experienced whenever we got Bella, our Boston Terrier, 10 years ago and we were living in an apartment that was pretty tiny, 595 square feet. So the very first thing, if you're thinking about getting a Boston Terrier, I highly recommend them. And the reason why is because they're going to be anywhere from 10 to 25 pounds, which is great whenever you live in an apartment and you're real close together. So if your Boston goes crazy and is running around the house, they're not going to be making a lot of noise uh, to wake up other people in the apartment complex. So number two, Boston Terriers, they are very gassy and they snore. So expect that if your Boston Terrier toots, it's going to fill up the entire apartment. A couple things that you can do to help eliminate that gas is our vet recommended us giving Bella plain yogurt, which I didn't think helped that much. My wife thought it helped. Um, another thing that you can do is taking your Boston Terrier for runs because just getting them moving will actually help let that gas escape, essentially. Number three, Boston Terriers do this little thing called zoomies. If you don't know what a zoomie is, be sure to check out little videos that I have for you guys. It's basically at 9 o'clock every single night, like clockwork, your Boston Terrier can be different. Bella would go crazy and run around the apartment, like super fast. And I thought it was pretty funny, but there's some theories out there as far as why this happens, and it could just be lack of exercise, but every Boston Terrier owner I've ever talked to said their Boston Terrier does this, zoomies. So expect that. It's kind of exciting. Number four, sunbathing. Boston Terriers love to be in the sun. So if you have a window that's open, they're going to try to get in the sunbeams. Bella does this still to this, this day, and she's 10 years old. So I'd highly recommend if you're leaving for the day, open up some blinds, so that way your Boston Terrier can find the sun, lay around, and they're going to have a great time. Number five, Boston Terriers shed less than most dog breeds. Whenever Emily and I heard this term you know, 10 years ago, we thought that Boston Terriers didn't shed at all. While they do shed minimally, they still shed. As long as you're bathing your Boston Terrier on a regular basis, the shedding will be minimal, but we did notice whenever she was younger, she would shed more than basically those middle years of two to eight years old. Now that she's older, she's starting to shed more. But the amount is so minimal, like it'd be just a little bit in the palm of your hand over the week, basically. So expect, expect that. Number six, this is a big one, chewing. Baby Boston Terriers, just like all other dogs, they're going to start losing their teeth and they're going to want to gnaw on things. Emily and I, we have replaced a number of different items. So if you like, you know, if you have friends over that have shoes, make sure you pick them up. If you just like having things and you don't want your dog to chew on it, make sure you pick it up. We've replaced uh, high heels in the hundreds of dollar ranges. We've also had to replace computer charges, chargers. So make sure that all these items are picked up. Because once again, they're a little puppy. They don't, it's not that they know better, their teeth are hurting. Once they get older, they don't do this as much. Like over the last couple years, I can't remember Bella chewing on anything. So keep this in mind. With Boston Terrier puppies, they will chew on things, but they'll grow out of it. Number seven, um, as far as their barking, I love Boston Terriers for this reason. They do not bark. The only time that Bella barks is at us whenever she wants attention. But if you take your Boston Terrier around the apartment complex, you're not going to have to worry about your Boston barking at other dogs, barking at other people, barking at birds and rabbits and anything else. They just don't do it, which is fantastic. And that's one of the reasons I love this breed. But a little side note on this, they do suffer, or some of them do suffer from separation anxiety. So when you leave for the day, your Boston Terrier might not bark at you while you're leaving, but they could start barking while you're gone. So this is something you're going to want to try to monitor and definitely ask your neighbors to say, hey, did you hear my Boston Terrier barking? Because if you did, you're going to want to do some things to help eliminate that separation anxiety. And if you're at the point where you already have a Boston Terrier and they are suffering from some type of separation anxiety, you can click in the show notes below. I have an article on how to eliminate this and gives you some great tips on what you can do. Number eight, socializing with other dogs. This is one of the things that Emily and I loved about being at the apartment. It's just because, you know, everybody's so close. You have a lot of different people. Living in a home, you don't get the opportunity as far as meeting other people with dogs unless you actually go to dog parks and things of that nature. 
But whenever we would just walk Bella to go check the mail, you'd run into basically three people walking their dogs, which is great because now that we live in the house, Bella's kind of skittish and gets anxious around other dogs. And it's just because over the last basically six years that we've lived here, she hasn't been getting a lot of socializing other than whenever we take Bella over to the farm at Emily's parents and there's a bunch of dogs over there. Number nine, I love living in the apartment for the fact that walking Bella seemed easier just because there were a lot of trails around. Um, so the exercise needs for a Boston Terrier, you pretty much just need to ex exercise them for 30 to 60 minutes. So doing two walks a day around the apartment complex is perfect and it's much easier I've found than living in a house. Number 11, being in a small place allows for, or sorry, this is number 10. Being in a small place allows for optimum cuddle time. Boston Terriers love to be right next to their owners. So as soon as you get home and you're watching TV, your Boston's gonna be wanna be right in your lap. Bella, whenever Emily and I are watching TV or something, she needs to be right in between us. And living in a tiny little apartment allows for this. Number 11, and this is the last one, waste management is super easy with Boston Terriers versus any other dog breed that's larger just because they have tiny little turds. You don't want to be picking up a bull mastiff pile of poop in your apartment complex because it's basically human poop that you're picking up. So with Boston Terriers, it's nice and small because they're going to be anywhere from 10 to 25 pounds. So I hope these tips help. Well, not tips, but just what you can experience living in an apartment with your Boston Terrier. If you want to learn more about Boston Terriers, maybe you're thinking about getting one, be sure to check out my video called Thinking About Getting a Boston Terrier. <clears throat> It'll be popping up right over here, and it's going to walk you through how much Boston Terriers cost, what their temperament and personality is, and this can help you in making the decision for you and your family on whether or not a Boston Terrier is right for you. If you love Boston Terriers, be sure to click subscribe to this YouTube channel, and we'll be putting out more information about Boston Terriers, as well as check out the bostonterriersociety.com webpage. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Please put them in the comments below. And have a great day. Thanks. Bye.